this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined once again by William Beaver. Good morning, William. <laughs> if you didn't see the, the last episode, uh, yeah, William Beaver's one of my newest helpers, and he lives right over there in my old cave. I'll tell you what, William, you stay there. I'll be over there in a second. We should add a sign up underneath the, the sign there saying that that's your home. I don't know. If you want to go and try and make a, a sign quick, uh, I'll come over and we can go and put that on. But first, I, of course, need to go and have my breakfast. And oh, are you, are you shy today, Barnaby? Are you hiding your face? Barnaby, Barnaby, I'm right here, Barnaby. Fine then, I think he's a bit grumpy. He wants to have a bit of a, a lion. <laughs> right then, let's go and uh, have my cake. I've had uh, another attempt uh, trying to make the, the super secret recipe and uh, let's see whether I was able to do it better this time. Yum, 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 yum. Ugh, it tastes like broccoli. It tastes like broccoli cake. Like, I don't mind broccoli. You know, if I'm having, you know, a meal that works with broccoli, but plah, plah, I don't want broccoli with my cake, I want cherries with my cake. Yeah, I'll have another attempt uh, in the, the next video and see if I can do any better. Barnaby, have you still not woken up? There we go. Good morning. Rise and shine, Barnaby. There's no time to be lazy. Right then, let's go and uh, head to the, the love garden first, and then I'm going to go and say hello to, to William Beaver properly, and uh, we can go and christen his new home. I guess he's probably been living there for a while, <laughs> but now I know he lives there. We can put a sign up uh, just so everyone else knows. Uh, but first, uh, the person that I'm adding to the love garden today is Brandon Benadam. And that's because uh, he drew me this really cool picture of my world as if it's a globe. So you can see, like, uh, you're looking at my lovely world and you can see the uh, the entire sphere. And then you can see my fun land and you can see the melon tree and the clock and the pick a pet pet shop, my house and the lighthouse and uh, all sorts of really cool things. But I thought that was a, a really cool and interesting way to draw it. And I wanted to say thank you very much uh, for doing it for me and welcome to my my love garden. All right then, and let's go now and uh, say hello to, to William. Hello, good morning. <laughs> nice to see someone was up bright and early this morning, Barnaby. No, come on. Look at him. He's all embarrassed running away. I think he's telling me uh, that I should put the, the sign here. So we'll leave the uh, the sign up uh, saying Stampy's first shelter as well. Uh, but underneath we can write uh, William uh, Beaver's... Uh, cave. Let's do that. There we go. William Beaver's cave. Just so everyone knows uh, that this is uh, where you live as well. All right then. Uh, let's go now and uh, we can go and begin building. So at the moment uh, we have been building a a, uh, a vet. A pet vet. Uh, it's called Poorly Pets Pet Vet. And it's quite difficult <laughs> to say the, the full name. I think I'm just going to call it my vet mainly. Uh, so yeah, uh, in the, the last episode we got uh, the entire outside 100% uh, done and quite a lot of the inside as well. We got all of the uh, the carpets and thing done uh, as well uh, on the, the inside. And so now all we need to do is add all of the, the finishing touches, all of the, the details, all of the, the medicine and everything else that's going to be making my animals feel better. And I'm going to be doing that while being joined by Benji. You can uh, come and join us if you want to stand up, Barnaby. Uh, you can stay here and hang out with the, the rest of my wolf pack. And then, yeah, Benji and uh, William, uh, you can uh, follow me as we go and head to the, the vet. I feel very formal calling you William. Shall I call you Billy? Would you prefer uh, for me to, to call you Billy? Billy Beaver. There we go. <laughs> I'll call you Billy Beaver from now on. So yeah, and we're going to go and head over to the uh, the vet and uh, we can go and carry on building. So uh, there are a few more things uh, we need to do before I can start building properly. Uh, the main thing we need to do is the uh, the ceiling. The, the ceiling uh, hasn't been done. Well, tell you what, uh, Billy, if you go and uh, start doing the, the ceiling, I can go and uh, start adding uh, everything else in and then hopefully uh, we'll be able to get the uh, the entire thing completed uh, by the, the end of the, the episode. That's what the, the plan is, but uh, there are quite a lot of things we uh, need to add in. Uh, so let's uh, see how well this goes before we start getting ahead of ourselves. So, all right, let's begin. Oh, yeah. I changed the, the door. Seeing as most animals can't fit through doors, I thought if I had a, a little gate, a little fence gate here instead, uh, then that way, uh, as hopefully Benji's going to, to demonstrate... There we go. Oh, look, come on. A little bit further, Benji. Come on. I'm, I'm trying to show how effective this is for animals to get in, uh, but Benji's not doing anything. 
And there we go. It proves <laughs> that animals can very easily get in and out. Uh, right then, as uh, soon as I am here with Benji, uh, this is the, the room uh, which is going to be mainly for, for healing doggies. This is the, the meat medicine room because, of course, uh, eating uh, some pork chops or steak or something is the best way to, to make a dog nice and happy and feeling better. So uh, this room is going to be specifically designed for, for that. So uh, let me go and uh, grab some of these quartz. And these are going to, to be along here. And on top of these, there is going to be furnaces. So I'm going to make a, a crafting table uh, in here uh, just so I can keep crafting things. And uh, let's put it somewhere high up just so it's out the, the way for now. And uh, let, yeah, let's go and make uh, myself some furnaces. So these are to uh, to cook all of the, the meat. So these are going to be uh, in a, a row along here like this. And then here... We are going to, to have a, a dog house because uh, when the, the dogs aren't feeling very well, uh, instead of uh, lying on a, a bed like we might do, uh, they are going to go and stay in the, the dog house. So actually, I think I'm doing it too big. If I do it like this and then just do stairs, uh, I think that will be quite good. So if uh, a dog's not feeling very well, uh, they can go and hang out in the, the dog house, which is, of course, where they like to be. So let's go and uh, make all of these into stairs. Then if I do them along like this, then I could do um, some half slabs on the, uh, the top as well uh, to make it look like... Like a, a proper nice little dog house. I wouldn't mind staying in a, a place like this. And I should get rid of the, the floor as well. If I, oh, <laughs> I forgot there's a big hole down there. Yeah, if I go and do the, the floor like that, and then if I do these blocks here, and yeah, then if I go and make some wooden plank half slabs, oh, I forgot where my crafting table was there, then uh, yeah, I can go and place these uh, along the, the top. And there we go, six. This is going to be more than enough. I can go and grab these and uh, just place them along the top here. Can I do it from here? There we go. Uh, one, two, three, and there we go. Here's my little dog house. But it is not complete. I think what I should do is go and add a, a little uh, item frame and then a bone on the uh, the front as well, just to make it look more like a doghouse. I really like that. I kind of um, am a little bit tempted to, to add a little bone like that on the, the top of my main doghouse as well, I think would look quite cool. And uh, yeah, this room's actually pretty much done now. The only things I need uh, to add in now are a, a couple of chests uh, just for uh, for all of the, the, the meat medicine. So uh, we're going to have uh, two chests, uh, one chest for all of the uh, the raw meat and then one for the uh, the cooked meat. So if I go and put... Uh, this one here and then this one. Oh no, not there. I meant to, to place that next to the, the wall. And so these are for the uh, the different types of meat. And I should actually uh, get some meat cooking as well. Oh, I don't have any um uh, any coal on me, but I could uh, just go and make some. If I make some sticks, I can go and put these in uh, to cook some of the, the meat. So I don't think I'll be able to cook it all, but if I put about half of this in here and then throw some sticks in, uh, that's all going to, to be cooking uh, away. And uh, we can add that to one of the, the chests. And I'm now uh, just going to go and uh, add some signs in uh, just to mark uh, which meat is cooked and which meat is not cooked because yeah you definitely uh, don't want to, to get that mixed around so I think signs are around here and I do need uh, a few of these because I'm going to need them uh, later on as well uh, so this one here is just going to be a uh, raw meat uh, so this is the the meat that just still needs to, to be cooked and then on the, the other side here uh, this is going to be the uh, the cooked meat so let's just write uh, let's just write meat uh, medicine or on this one uh, instead so there we go this is the the meat medicine uh, to make the uh, the dogs feel better uh, if they're not very happy so I can now grab this craft crafting table and I can bring this with me into the the next room and uh, let's go and grab uh, any of the uh, the pork chops here that have been cooked and uh, these ones can go inside of uh, of this chest here and then the the raw meat I uh, can go inside of this chest here so here we go this is the uh, the first room uh, completed and I must say uh, that the ceilings are looking very good now as well let's go and uh, uh, check out how well Billy Beaver's been doing have they uh, all been completed there we go I think all of the the ceilings are pretty much done so let's go now and uh, move on uh, to the the next room Room. And uh, this room is going to be for hoof health. <laughs> and this is uh, all of the, the different animals uh, that have hooves, uh, things like horses and uh, I guess kind of pigs. They more have trotters than hooves, but I think they can be uh, helped out here as well. And then we have, uh, of course, cows and uh, uh, yeah, and uh, and sheep uh, as well. They're all of the, the animals uh, that are going to be healed here. So the, the main thing that's going to be in this room is uh, an examination table. If you've ever uh, had to, to take a pet to the, the vet, uh, you know there's normally a, a big and probably quite cold table uh, in the, the middle of the, the room. And that's going to be the, the first thing we're going to, to build. And uh, I'll build it about here, I think. And I'm going to do my uh, normal way of doing a, a table. And I'm going to go and make a big mess by putting blocks all over the place. <laughs> then I'm going to do a couple upside down stairs. And oh, nearly got rid of the, the stairs then. And yeah, if I then do a, a, a quart hard slab, a half slab in the, the middle there, uh, that's going to, to kind of look like a, a 
a table. So let me go and uh, make myself, uh, I only need uh, one of these for this room here, and I can place that in the, the middle, and this does kind of look like the, the tables uh, that you'll be examining them in. And then, all we need to do is go and add uh, a whole load of, uh, of chests uh, full of all of the, the other things uh, that they might need. So uh, you can uh, you can help me here if you want uh, a little bit, Billy. Uh, we just need uh, four chests uh, along the, the back here, and then they're going to be filled with uh, a bunch of different things uh, that would uh, help out uh, the, the other animals. So the, the four things uh, that they're going to have is a bandage for the uh, the sheep. <laughs> and then there's going to be a cow cast uh, for the, the cows if they've sprained a leg. Then there's going to be a pony potion uh, for if the, the ponies aren't well. And then trotter oinkment for the, the pig. So uh, do you want to start writing some of them, them down? Uh, yeah, so that one you can write down bandage and cow cast if you want, Billy. And then I'm going to go and do the, the other two over here. So uh, if we just crouch down, uh, we can go and write it on here. Uh, so let's go and write uh, pony potion. Uh, this is going to be for any horses. And I don't actually have uh, any um any horses in my world not that i've found anyway i'm still waiting to to see some horses uh, but i'm yet to, to see any so i'm still waiting but if i do uh, then i've got a, a place ready for them to to get healed and then this one's going to be trotter oinkment <laughs> just like that so it's supposed to be like ointment but ointment and oh it doesn't actually fit in there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and just write it down on the the next row down here so trotter oink mint there we go <laughs> if uh, any of the the cows aren't feeling very well and so i'm not actually going to put anything in these chests i don't know i could put some potions in and i could probably find some things to, to put in them eventually i guess bandages i could put paper in it kind of would work as a bandage uh, but apart from that i think that this room the uh, the hoof health room uh, is uh, is complete as well oh actually what i could do is there's the um there's that big painting isn't there that has a uh, has a pig on it if i go and make a, a painting i could see if I could get the the big one that has the uh, the pig on it. Um, tell you what, Billy. While I go and uh, do a start on the the next rooms, uh, do you want to see if you can get the uh, the huge painting uh, which has the uh, the pig face on it? Because I think uh, that would uh, make sense uh, for this room here. And uh, while he does that. I'm going to go uh, into the, the next room down here. And this is going to, to be a room uh, which is going to, to be for... Um, actually, let's go Let's go do this room first. Here. This room is going to be full of uh, for all of the, the birds. And this one's going to be called Claw Care, I think, here. Uh, actually, no. Let's call it, um, let's call it Feather Welfare. <laughs> so this is going to be uh, for all of the, uh, the birds uh, that uh, come in here. All of the, the chickens, basically, uh, that need uh, to, to be healed. Or ducks, I guess, in case Squishy shows up and so the main thing in this room uh kind of like um Actually, I forgot my crafting table, didn't I? Yeah, in the um, uh, kind of like the, the doghouse, uh, this one's going to have a big bird cage instead. So uh, let me go and uh, try and make a, a huge bird cage uh, that all of the, the chickens can go into. And oh, did you grab the uh, the crafting table? <laughs> can you can you pass me the, the crafting table quick? And I'll take that to the next room. See, look how good I'm being. Rather than making four crafting tables, I've just made one and I've been carrying it with me uh, everywhere I go. So let's go in here and uh, yeah, let's try and build ourselves a big bird cage. And I've never uh, built a, a bird cage in my Minecraft before so let's see how this goes I might uh, need to uh, make the uh, the ceiling a little bit higher I think that uh, yeah for this to, to work properly I think the uh, the ceiling uh, needs to go a little bit higher up here because uh, I want to have um, uh, fences coming down uh, as if they are they are holding up the the bird cage if I do this a little bit higher and I can kind of fill it in a little bit later on uh, but let's just see how well this works so I'm going to be doing as I said fence poles uh, coming down from the the ceiling uh, as if it's holding it up and uh, then I'm going to do iron bars uh, as if they're uh, the, the actual cage. So uh, let's go and uh, make myself some iron bars then. And uh, let's see uh, how well this is going to, to look. And I always end up making too many of these. I think uh, 32 uh, should hopefully be uh, more than enough. So uh, let's go and uh, fill in the, the top here. And actually what I might do is uh, filling around the, the outside here uh, with white walls. I think it looks uh, quite ugly. So then that way, uh, the ceiling's only slightly higher. There we go. I think that looks quite cool. And then if I build out uh, like this, I just need uh, to make sure uh, that there's uh, enough room uh, for a, a chicken to, to go in. And chickens aren't very big, so I'm sure this won't be too hard. I just want to make sure that they can definitely stand and uh, at least have a, a little bit of room to walk around in. So that is basically going to be the, the top of the, the cage there. Then if I build down slightly 
lower uh, down here. This is where the, the chicken's going to be. And then I can just do some uh, some oak uh, half slabs underneath it, uh, just where the, the chicken uh, can actually stand. So there we go. This kind of looks like a bird cage. Um, it's a bit big for a normal bird cage. But then again, you wouldn't normally have a fully grown chicken uh, inside of a, a bird cage anyway. <laughs> and so let's go and uh, uh, place these down here like this. And I do have some eggs on me. And I generally uh, don't have very much luck uh, getting chickens from eggs. But I'm going to give it a go anyway, uh, just to see if I can get lucky and uh, get a chicken. Uh, but if not, no worries. I guess I should just be grateful that there aren't any chickens that aren't healthy. And I guess if I throw the eggs up here... Then if one does spawn in, it should hopefully uh, just fall down and land in the, the cage. But it looks like uh, I've got the uh, the same level of luck as I normally do with these eggs. Nope, not one single chicken. That's what always happens. I never get chickens. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I can try again in the, the future and see if I can get one then. And then we can have a, a chicken inside of the, the cage. And I guess now... Uh, the only other thing I need to do is uh, probably go and uh, add in some things uh, to to help out the uh, the chicken then. And uh, there's not much room in here. The the bird cage uh, does kind of take up the uh, the entire room, uh, but that doesn't matter too much. Do I still have any more chests on me? And uh, no, let me go and make myself a, a couple more chests, and uh, then uh, maybe some more signs as well. So there's going to be uh, a few things uh, to to help out the the chicken. So oh, there we go. I've got enough signs. I really just need uh, to make some more chests, and I'm actually uh, running out of uh, out of wood from making all of these signs and chests. Uh, inside of all of these different rooms. Uh, right, uh, so the main thing that's uh, going to, to be able to uh, to, to help them uh, is going to be these beakers. <laughs> there's going to be beakers uh, full of, uh, of medicine, uh, which we can go and fill up. So there's basically just going to be glass bottles. And of course, I'm doing beakers because beaks, you know, birds have beaks. And so I'm doing beakers. <laughs> I can't help having a, a good pun. And then on the, the other side here, there's going to be something that would actually help them out. And that is seed solution, uh, a solution uh, of seeds uh, that should hopefully uh, make them feel better because uh, yeah uh, birds of course love to, to eat a uh, seed so let me go and write seed uh, solution here uh, this can be for uh, all of the the birdies and I do believe now uh, that this room is also a uh, complete here so this was the um uh, this was the uh, uh, the feather welfare, and now in the other room, I want a, uh, a place for the the cats. And I'm not entirely sure what to to call this one. I'll tell you what. Seeing as cats uh, cats have claws, oh no, I could call it um, uh, paw care, maybe because it's cats have paws maybe or like kitty care kitty care this can be the the kitty care room that's what i'm going to call this one <laughs> and then the uh, the main thing of this room is it's going to have a very big fountain and this is going to be my fishy fountain and so uh, of course to for uh, for cats to get better uh, they need uh, to eat some some fishies and so the the main part is going to be this big fountain here and there's going to be a dispenser which is going to be firing out uh, a load of uh, of fish uh, yeah in order for um uh, yeah, in order for the, the cats to get. And I've just realised I don't actually have any fish. Um, Billy! <laughs> Are you still here trying to get the, the painting? Oh! Okay, you got to make sure. So basically, when you place a, a painting, uh, where you place it will determine how big it is. So I think if you place it on this block here, it will uh, end up being, uh, it could end up being a lot bigger. <laughs> Sorry, I should have probably uh, mentioned that uh, before I left. Uh, but I've got a new challenge for you, Billy. A more important challenge. I want you uh, to go and try and find me some fish okay and I don't know where you're gonna get it from you can maybe make a fishing rod but you need to look around my world and try and bring me as many fish as you can oh actually there might be some in the um in the pretty kitty there might be some in there so that's a, a good place to, to start and uh, yeah while he's doing that I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and try and uh, finish off the the rest of the the room I don't seem to be uh, getting very lucky either trying to get the the big painting <laughs> that one will do for now that's quite a, a pretty calming painting all right then uh, let's go back here to my kitty care and uh, carry on doing the the rest of the the fountain so i've done the the bottom down there and i'm now going to put my dispenser here and basically there's going to be a, a button uh, i'm going to put on the the front here and so every time you um uh, you press the the button uh, it's basically just going to to go and uh, make it so that um a uh, fish uh, just basically goes and flies out uh, somewhere in the, the room and you probably don't want to go in there because that's where the uh, the water's going to, to go. <laughs> so tell you what Benji, why don't you uh, come and uh, step back here a little bit. Uh, come on, come out of the fountain. 
Trust me, Benji, you don't want to be in the fountain. Right, let me go and uh, step back here. Benji, if you're going to go anywhere, you should go in the, the dog house. <laughs> I think he's having a, an identity crisis. He doesn't know if he's a, a dog or a, a cat. He's going to the, the wrong room. Has he left? Has he left the, the fountain? There we go. You can sit down there and I can go now. And if I just place some water on the, the wall there, that should work perfectly. Beautiful. And there we go. Uh, do you want to go and just put all of the, the fish into the, the dispenser? And then anytime we press a button, uh, they should go firing out. So I'm just going to put a sign on it uh, to mark what it is so i'm just gonna here say uh, this is the the fishy uh fountain there we go uh this is where all of the the cats can uh, get their fish uh, to get better and uh, we should also uh, have some milk medicine of course uh, cats love eating milk uh, i can uh, well drinking milk not eating it <laughs> unless you freeze it first i guess uh, yeah so uh, we can also have um a place for for milk over here so let me make a uh, another chest i think this is the the last chest i need uh, to make today and i can go and place that down here and then we can put a sign next to it and then this one can just say uh milk medicine so milk and i think i need to do the uh, right medicine on the the next page uh so medicine uh, like that and uh, all we need to do is go and get some buckets of milk and uh, yeah we can fill that up and then in the the corner i'm gonna do uh, a cat play area you know the little like um uh kitty cat climbing frames uh, you can uh, see a lot uh, where people have places for cats to kind of climb up and play around on and uh, basically have uh, lots of fun on. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to, to build here. So I guess if I do something like this, and then if I go and make some carpets, I can put the uh, the carpets on it uh, as kind of areas for cats to go and uh, play on. So hopefully uh, mittens, uh, if no one else is going to, to enjoy this. And I've got some red carpet on me, so I might uh, do it red uh, just so it looks a little bit different. And if I place one there, and then can I place one up there, and then one at the, the very top. There we go, like that. Uh, that's uh, an area uh, for the the cats to, to play on uh, in case they get bored and oh billy are you, are you after my attention have you got the the painting have you finally uh, worked it out and got it working right have we got the big pig yay we have the big pig <laughs> this is what i wanted the pigs are gonna love this right i do believe it's now finished let me just go and have one go on the uh, the fishy fountains i think it's gonna be good fun so i press the button and then we fish just goes and just flies out of the the fountain <laughs> you do then kind of have to go and jump into the the fountain to to get it but that's okay who doesn't like uh, jumping into a fountain every now and then <laughs> right let's go and grab the the very useful crafting table i got a lot of use out of that crafting table and oh uh, yeah we can go outside and uh, admire the um uh, yeah the uh, the poorly pets pet shop uh, as it's now entirely finished so uh, here we go uh, we've got it done so i want to say a massive thank you uh, to to billy beaver uh, for helping me out so well and uh, being able to to allow me to to finish building it uh, in this episode and in the the next episode i am going to be showing you something cool there's something secret uh, i've been working on and i'm going to show that off to you uh, as well uh, as playing a a mini game uh, which is themed uh, around vets so uh, yeah make sure you go and check that out but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later bye